Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. This time, let's talk about how to accept user input. We've talked about displaying text to the screen, but we haven't been able to make our programs interactive. So let's see in this lecture how we can do that. We have to use a class called scanner. Remember how we said that objects are things that represent real things on the um, real world. So a scanner is going to represent just that in the real world. It's going to be able to scan text and scan numbers and things like that from the console. So we use the scanner object to accept user input. But first, of course, we have to create that object. So how do we create a scanner object? We create new objects with a keyword called new. So this would be an object of type scanner. We call it scan. And this scanner object, which is called scan, is a new scanner. So we get a new scanner and we put it inside the variable called scan. So this is the class name. Variable name, the new keyword is used to create a new object. And the last one is the class name again. Later on, I will explain why the class name is there twice. But for now, just accept that this is the way that it is for now. So what about parameters? What is this? Um, we need to tell our scanner what to scan. Right now, the scanner doesn't know where he's getting the text from. So we need to say, OK, we're going to get the text from the console. Just like when printing, we say, print to the default output. Here we have to say, get the text from a default system input method, which is going to be the console once again. So the way we do this is we have here our um, scanner creation. And notice that between the brackets, I've added system.in. So whereas to print, I used system.out, which was a default system output. Here I'm using system.in for a default system input. So how do we actually use the scanner? Once we have it created, how do we use it for reading? Well, the first thing we do is, as I've said, instantiate the scanner object or create a new scanner object. And then we, for example, can ask the user for their age. This, like this, system.out.print, please enter your age. Notice how this print method doesn't have ln at the end of it. This is because print ln adds a carriage return or a new line at the end of the line. Print by itself doesn't add a new line. You'll see in the programming example why and this is different, w why print ln is different to print and why we use print in this case. And finally, we get the age with our scanner and then we store it in a variable. So we do int age, we create a new variable of type integer, and in it, we put the next integer that the scanner can get. In this case, we assume that the user has put a number in, uh, in our console, and then we get this number and we put it into a variable called age. So we use scanner to scan for user input, and it can read any data type. It can read strings, integers, doubles, floats, characters, booleans. Well, actually, I'm not sure it can read booleans, but it can read anything else. So this is an easy way to read user input. Um, in the next video, we're going to be going over how to actually program this and make a small program that will read user input and maybe do a couple things with it. So stay tuned, and let's go into the next video.